Yeah, I thought he threw well. Uh, you know, he came out and the fastball was crisp. It was only 87, 88, and then about the fourth inning it jumped up to 90, 91 like he hit another gear and he was rolling pretty good and they battled him man they fouled off a lot of pitches he ended up with like 115 through seven what have you seen in his progression this season i mean he started off the season with, with the with the injury and having to come back from that or, or the illness excuse me and you know having to build up and you, you finally move him into the friday roll and it seems like he's kind of taken over from there today career high 12 strikeouts and about 84 strikes out of 115 pitches it's really just attacking the zone yeah he, he was after it today and i mean it was about the fastball today um and, and he had a good one and you know it's it, it might be 87 91 but it jumps out of the hand pretty good uh, i thought solders for them was really good i mean he got some late life on that ball and he pitched you know he had a lot of walks coming in he didn't walk one guy only a couple three ball counts so i thought he attacked it pretty good uh, you guys getting a couple runs early and making a stick, uh, you know, uh, what does that kind of say about the, um, I guess, determination of your pitching staff to be able to hold, a, you know, a small lead, something you guys are pretty used to? Yeah, I mean, we did it. Scotty came in and gave up a home run. A guy hit a ball and went over the fence, but uh, came out and retired every other guy in a row after that, and it all went good. It's what we do, <laughs> you know. I thought Tristan made a couple plays at second base that – early in the game that were really good. And, you know, you get unseen when they get it, but he took a leadoff hitter off base on a push bunt on a super play. And then the ball he went over the middle and threw Walker out on him was a really good play. You guys are uh, leading the Big West right now. Um, how do you see that kind of shaping up with a couple weeks left in the season? Well, I mean, we're all right in there. I mean, it's not like somebody's way ahead or this is that. Uh, we're all in the same spot. Um, these guys are seven and five coming in. Davis nip Santa uh, Santa Barbara today, which that's kind of unique. Uh, but Davis is a tough place to play. And then Northridge has got to play a doubleheader tomorrow, so uh, it sits that way. But all we got to worry about is ourselves, Chuck. And I mean, there ain't nobody else to worry about except ourselves. And then today, Dalton Blazer with four hits. Uh, he's just been a consistent pr producer for you. Uh, one of the one of the few guys that you expected big things out of, and it's kind of given you them this season. Um, what has he kind of meant for you to be that that one constant for you? Well, him and Pinkston both. I mean, they they both got a bunch of hits, and they hit right-handed, they hit left-handed, they hit ambidextrous. You know, I mean. Through the first seven hits of the game, six of them were by left-handed hitters. And, you know, going in, we thought he'd be a little tougher against them, and, and they took good at-bats against him. Vargas' leadoff at-bat of the game, and then he played that ball in the dirt and got over there, and then Pinky came up and drove him in, and it worked that way. And then with um, uh, when Blazer scored uh, on the base hit by Hildebrandt, that was, that was big, two big at-bats by us.